Hi everybody, welcome back to the Home of Crybaby Performance where we try and they cry. Today we're going to talk about exhaust pipes on the Honda motors. So we have the uh, exhaust pipe off the engine and uh, we have our rule book out. So we're going to go through a few things. Okay, in the rule book it says that um, this flange, this is an original style muffler off of Honda. You can actually cut this flange off of this pipe and make your own pipe, but you know, who's going to do that? And the flange can be a maximum of 250, which this is kind of thin. Our bought pipe is the 250. Okay, then it says that you can grind the inside of this pipe only to the 250. So this hole in here, this hole in here can be any size you want it to be as long as it doesn't go into the pipe. And where that helps you out is, as you can see on this original pipe, right here the exhaust is hitting that corner and it's hitting this corner. So if yours is round like that, you'll want to take those corners off on the 250 but you're not allowed to go inside the pipe i know it's hard to see because it's black okay so with your die grinder this is the finishing uh bit i didn't change them all out but you can take a metal bit like this and at an angle you can grind out that material you cannot go into the pipe you can only grind it out on this 250 right here. But this angle can be any angle you want. And you can match it up with a gasket. Here's your exhaust gasket. You can match it up like that. And then you'll have a starting point and an ending point. Okay, so we're all clear on that. Don't go into the pipe with a metal bit because they say scratches in the pipe will lead to a DQ, even though once the carbon is in there, you can't see anything anyway, but that's the rule. Okay, now the length of the pipe is a rule of um, twenty to twenty six inches. So if you have a piece of hose, and you cut it to 26 inches, you can feed it into the pipe and out the end, and you can see how, how long the pipe is. Okay. Their next rule is the pipe has to be, um, is it outside or inside diameter? Let's see. The exhaust pipe may not exceed a maximum of one inch outside diameter doesn't say anything about the inside diameter of this pipe. It just says the outside diameter. And this is a store-bought pipe. And it's uh, 10 thousandths over. So technically you could get DQ'd on this pipe. But this is what everybody's running. This is store-bought. Maybe my mic's not at zero. Nope, it's at zero, so... Yeah, but that's where the bend is, yeah, where that it is could where be flat is. spotted. Let's go to where the flat spot is. Yeah, didn't get much better. And I don't want to take the wrap off. But anyway, 10 thousandths, who cares? Well, if they're after you, there you go. DQ right. everybody. But they don't give you a wall thickness of this pipe. So you could run a thinner wall pipe and gain some diameter that way. Now, the other rule I love is the muffler... Let's see. Muffler must not be more than a half turn from being hand tight. Well, geez, riddle me that, Batman. Must not be a half turn from hand tight. How about changing a rule would you, where muffler must be tight? That, you know, half turn from hand tight leaves a lot of interpretation. So here's our muffler. It's loose because... Exhaust will pass those threads, okay? And if I go all the way tight right there, now I could get this all the way to this other side, 
but I won't push it that far because, you know, they always seem to be after me. So I'm loose, but I'm not that loose. And then you have this spring on here from uh, that loop to that loop. Well, if that spring breaks and this muffler comes off, you're DQ'd. So we always safety wire it um, onto the onto the pipe. And since I've seen the safety wire broken before, I always double it up. So I just want to show you one more thing in here. Well, actually a couple more things. Now this pipe's gonna unscrew. As you can see, it's black in here. It's not too black down here. But this is a tapered pipe. So if you run the tap deeper on this pipe, you can cut the threads in a lot deeper but then don't cut the last ones quite as hard. And then when you screw it in, it'll still be a half turn from hand tight. And it's still loose and exhaust will be bypassing the muffler. They claim in the book that they want all the exhaust to pass through this muffler, but then they write hokey rules to leave it a half a turn from hand tight. So if this is hand tight, a half turn would be right there. That's pretty loose. Exhaust is passing that pipe. Okay, moving on to the muffler. Well, hold on a second. What about the threads? There's peaks and valleys in those threads. Right, you could actually, you know it's not gonna tighten up to the last couple threads. We never did it, but you know, you could always, you know, on a sandpaper wheel, you could sand some of the the tops off of that off of that pipe. It's still going to be a half turn from hand type, but you know, more air will get through it. Okay, so you have to be creative and within the rules because the rules are you can drive a truck through them. So, well, also anyway. talk about right here the part number. They call out a part Okay, number. so it says, midget mufflers must be four to eight horsepower Briggs and Stratton. Part right. number, and they give you the part number, or equal equivalent. Open the door to everything, equal and equivalent. What's equal equivalent? Okay, so now if you know anything about manufacturing, you know, Briggs probably makes this part and Taiwan probably makes this part, and China probably makes this part. And I'm best betting that the Chinese ones aren't the same as the Briggs ones. If you see all the holes inside that pipe, which is hard to see, and they're hard to measure too, but if you could find one that has bigger holes in it, it's gonna allow more air to pass through. Oh, I guess that's what they mean by equal equivalent. Equal equivalent, but there's no dimension of it, so there's no minimum or maximum dimension, so, you know, um, and Chinese manufacturing isn't like um, Briggs manufacturing, so um, you could buy a bunch of different ones of these pipes, take a look at them, and you might gain something. Okay, what else do we have, John? I think that's it. So there you go, clear as mud all over again. How about muffler tight? That would solve all kinds of problems. So again, contact your tech directors and your tech officials and ask them why is that loose if you want all the exhaust to pass through What's funny the too is when the pipe is tight, whoever builds these, when the tight pipe is tight, 
this little oh, this little welded ring and this little welded ring are half a turn off exactly so that's a good thing in your favor because you loosen it half a turn you put your spring on and don't forget to safety wire it now you're completely legal half turn open this up all right, hopefully you liked our video. Give us a thumbs up from the home of Cryberry BB, Crybaby Performance, where we try and they cry.